Welcome back to the show. Now Christmas is a time to celebrate your loved ones and Sadiqa is here to show us one of her favorite recipes, a spicy sweet corn pudding, which is the perfect dish for a Christmas in July dinner party spread. Sadiqa, mm. I've always thought that a pudding is somewhat of a dessert mm. and it should be sweet. But here we're actually making a sweet corn pudding. It's sweet, salty, savory. So what we do is because to complement the, the chicken, we added a bit more spice into it. Mm. But you can opt to have this as a dessert. Just remove the, the, the condiments. So you move the chili, move the garlic, move the mint. But the interesting thing is you can either have this as a dessert, you can put a dollop of cream on the top, mm. or you can serve this as a side dish. But I just love that contrast between salty, heat, and sweet. I'm here for it. Now, what goes into this? So you're going to do wet ingredients and dry ingredients because you don't want those lumps and those clunks. Mm. So Jay's going to assist me in getting all of the wet ingredients. <laughs> and look at you, organized. <laughs> so wet ingredients in there, melted butter, not butter at room temperature. It's got to be liquidy. Okay. You're going to get eggs in there, vanilla e essence in there, cream and milk. And then dry ingredients on the side, sifted flour, baking powder, get your caster sugar in. Okay, and caster sugar just because it's finer. It's finer. Mm. It's finer. And you get that in. And it's as simple as this is one of the quickest, easiest things. You can do this on a weeknight as well. You're going to get some steamed corn in. And, and the, the thing is, if it's fresh corn, just steam it in the microwave, like one right. or two minutes. Really quick, simple, easy. And I think that that's, uh, that's the, the essence of this dish. Or you can have canned corn. Mm. So you let the corn go in. And then my favorite. I mean, who doesn't love cream style? Me too. Sweet corn. And are you, so you're basically doubling up on the sweet corn here. Yeah, doubling up. It is corny. <laughs> and it is corny. <laughs> did you see what I did there? I saw that. Did you see what I did there? Ooh, shame. Ooh, shame. <laughs> the comedy got... was never a career for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got so, your, 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 your wet ingredients. Do you need I'm gonna, them? I'm going to get okay. this in here. So it really Christmas doesn't started. matter how... <laughs> yes, you can whisk it in, so you're incorporating okay, a little cool. bit of air. It really doesn't matter how you mix this in. Just incorporate the flour in. So we can just get this, the wet ingredients in here. Okay. There's very little technique in this, guys, mm. as you can see. <laughs> it is delicious. Um, I was afraid of the sweetness. Yes. When I saw that caster sugar going in, and as much as sweet corn that we added, I was a yes. little hesitant. I was like, how savory will this really be? It really is. It's flavorful. It comes together. It comes together exquisitely. You could have added a pinch more chili for me. <laughs> Come on, Sadiqa, okay. you should know your girl. <laughs> Add all that chili in, go! There you go. I love that, but um, it we definitely screams Christmas. And that garlic, I, I taste it. Me and garlic. You know you and garlic. Me and garlic. <laughs> so in here, add in your onion. Onion, moisture as well. So mm. we've added mm. in ingredients that will ensure that your pudding is absolutely moist. And we've added in some chili to your palate. So we've put in, it's Durban style chili. I in love now. that. <laughs> and then coriander okay. and mint. You showed us that there really Don't, isn't hectic technique. There isn't. Mm. But as long as you fold it in and you incorporated everything. And grease sheet. Mm -hmm. And don't be worried it's liquid. There's a lot of egg in here. Yeah. So, and, and actually, it adds to the moistness because when I had it, it correct. wasn't dry at all. It was so quite it's a nice mixture of like a, fr a frittata and, thank you, Jay, uh, a frittata and a, and a pudding or like a yeah. quiche type. Baking and time? Baking time, you're going to get it into the oven around, for, it depends on your oven and whether it's, uh, you've got a fan in there. So about 50 minutes on 180, but just watch it. Easy Absolute peasy. Absolutely easy peasy and get it into the oven. Love that. Now, if you want to get this into your oven, simply head over to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za for the full list of ingredients. Now, when we come back, we will be enjoying all of the Christmas in July menu-inspired dishes.